This is actually a uh, two by four that was found at the scene that had blood on it. It's connected to a violent Collier County homicide in 1998, still unsolved. Crime scene supervisor Jessica Gerster says back then, DNA science was in its infancy. But in 2014... Now we start resubmitting evidence from these cold case homicides. The evidence bags end up in the FDLE Regional Crime Lab near Page Field. (laughs) Stephanie Arbogast is a crime laboratory analyst in the biology section. Her job? Analyzing items of evidence um, taken from crime scenes to analyze them for biological materials and develop DNA profiles. Sounds like TV, but it's real life and a real job. I will do a color change test. So for example, blood, it will turn a bright pink color immediately if possibly blood is present. And I will take a swab of that stain for DNA analysis. A complex analysis. We're gonna use chemicals and heat to break open those cells. It will go through a process called PCR, where it basically makes billions of copies of target segments. The goal, find a match. First stop, a national database. It's called CODIS, which is the Combined DNA Index System. A match does not mean a case is solved, but it's an important lead. And when that call comes in... It's rewarding because the work that I put into something and a a DNA profile that I'm able to um, develop, it can potentially help solve a crime. And she did help solve a case. Arbogast DNA work and courtroom testimony helped convict three murderers in a 2017 case. And just recently, in Charlotte County, her work helped solve the 30-year-old murder case of Sharon Gill. You have evidence that was tested under old technology and had leads but not a solution. The new technology allowed this case to be solved. Solved, but usually not in an hour like on TV. Eli Lawson is the assistant special agent in charge for FDLE. Many of these cases last years and the evidence, there's thousands of uh, pieces of evidence that come through this lab every year, thousands and thousands of pieces. Each one important to those who work the cases and the families of the victims. Back to that 1998 murder in Collier County. Will a DNA match provide a crucial lead? Detective William Still has worked the case for years. This has given us tools to uh, draw and, and narrow in on people that previously may have gone unnoticed.